Thank you all for coming. It's such an exciting day for us. Um, first of all, I'd like to just take a moment to uh, acknowledge all of the uh, guests who are here. Uh, Secretary Moniz, we're so excited that you're here. Uh, I'm also really thrilled that Tom Bates, the mayor of the city of Berkeley, is here. Uh, we have a really deep partnership with the local community, and Mayor Bates has been uh, really, uh, really helpful to us in thinking about how the Berkeley Lab uh, uh, should work with the community closely. And we have many deep partnerships, and we're very grateful to him for being here today. Uh, we also have a uh, representative uh, from uh, Senator Feinstein, John Murray. Is it John? Okay. And uh, from Senator Boxer, uh, Jennifer Tang, and uh, Joshua Quigley, thank you for being here. And uh, from Representative Barbara Lee, uh, Jonathan Gast. John, oh, there you are. Okay. So thank you all for coming here today. We really, really appreciate your presence here. Uh, it is a wonderful celebration for us. Uh, we're, uh, Department of Energy has made a uh, uh, $54 million investment in this uh, building for the Office of Science of the Department of Energy. This building is a place where scientists will be able to really uh, imagine the future of energy storage research. And I think you all know in this era where um, we have uh, a lot of ways to potentially get access to renewable energies, the problem of energy storage is really looms large. And so uh, being able to harness the capabilities of the lab is vital. It's also a key part of the renewal of the physical infrastructure of this laboratory. We're sitting on a site here between the light source and where we are now that has been called Old Town for decades <laughs> and has had buildings on it that have been uh, on, frankly, soil that really needs to be remediated and also uh, buildings that really just didn't meet the needs of, of, of modern infrastructure at a laboratory. And so this is really a key part of the renewal of the site. And I want to reiterate a commitment which I've made as laboratory director, which is as we renew the infrastructure on this site, we will be building on brownfield sites, on sites that have previously had buildings on them. Uh, we won't be building on greenfield sites. We will be uh, really, as best we can, stewards of the environment and, and good partners with our, with our community. Uh, very excited about today's ribbon cutting and really, really happy that Secretary Moniz could be here. Um, I just want to say at the outset that um, the mission of the Department of Energy in science and in energy and in other areas like security uh, and environment is, is really deep and important to the future of our country. And it's such an important topic. Uh, we really do need um, to have um, leadership that understands the issues and that can uh, bring them in a compelling way uh, to understanding by the people and the public. And uh, with Secretary Moniz, I think our whole community is just deeply, deeply lucky because um, with his background, um, long background in physics, but also work previously um, uh, at the Department of Energy in many different roles, and then leading the MIT Energy Initiative where he thought very hard about the future of energy for a long time. Um, he has truly come into the department and made um, so much progress, and it has just been so thrilling to be a part of the community that he is leading. And so we're really thrilled uh, that he could be here today uh, to say a few words as we inaugurate this building. So uh, Secretary Moniz. Well, thank you, uh, Paul, for that, uh, for that um, uh, introduction. Uh, you did make most of the remarks that I did want to say. <laughs> no, no, that's great. That's great. And I'll come back to uh, uh, some of the things that uh, we're doing together with uh, Paul and, and other, um, other of the lab leadership. Um, it, really is, uh, it really is a pleasure to, to, to be here. Uh, the, uh, as Paul said, uh, the department has a set of, um, uh, of, of missions that span quite a broad uh, uh, set of activities. Uh, whimsically, we often call it weapons and windmills, quarks and quagmires. Uh, and, um, uh, but this diversity of missions 
comes together because they are all, progress in all of them is completely rooted in science and technology and our laboratory system of which Berkeley is a very special member, uh, including being the oldest of our, of our uh, laboratories, uh, uh, is really kind of a glue. Uh, and, uh, and one of the things that we are trying to do, uh, in fact, is to uh, more effectively bring together uh, the, the talents, the capabilities, uh, the complementarities of our, of our laboratories uh, in terms of meeting these, these important mission areas. And I want to say there, Paul, uh, plays a very special role uh, in that we now have a laboratory policy council uh, that tries to look at uh, where we are going as a Department of Energy system uh, in, uh, in addressing these important goals uh, for the country. Uh, we have four laboratory directors uh, on that uh, group with all of the senior leadership of the department. I personally chair it, and Paul is, is our laboratory director from uh, the multi-purpose science laboratories on that group and is, and, and is playing a very, very leading role, which we, which we appreciate uh, very, very much. The um, uh, mayor, uh, pleasure to meet you. Uh, the, the issue of having strong bonds uh, with our communities uh, is, is very important. Uh, we have, with uh, some communities in particular, uh, relationships that go back, uh, as you know, uh, kind of on the century scale, at least, you know, 50, 60 years. Uh, they are very different communities from, uh, from Berkeley to Idaho Falls to Paducah, Kentucky, et cetera. But in all those cases, the, the relationships with the communities is just, just essential, and, and, uh, and we'll do all that we can, certainly, uh, to, to, to nurture that. Um, uh, now, I mentioned uh, Berkeley as the oldest of our laboratories. That, uh, that touches on something else Paul said. We do have some very old infrastructure uh, across the complex, including here uh, at, uh, at Berkeley. And first of all, the initiative of, as much as possible, going this kind of brownfield uh, route is, uh, I think, is, uh, is right on. Uh, but the fact is, uh, and again, our, our lab policy council and our laboratory operations board are, are looking at this. Uh, we need to be, to be renewing our infrastructure. The missions we have today are critical. Uh, uh, certainly uh, the energy mission, uh, the clean energy mission, addressing the, the, the risks of, of climate change, those that we will have in the future and those that we are seeing today uh, is absolutely essential. Uh, there are many tools to do this. But at the base, if we do not manage the science and technology uh, for the kinds of breakthroughs we need, the kinds of cost reductions we need, we're not going to get there. Uh, uh, so, so this is absolutely central. Uh, and that needs modern infrastructure. This is one example of that. Uh, in this case, with the primary program being one of the key technology pathways, uh, energy storage, whether it's for uh, for managing the, uh, the, the vagaries of uh, solar and wind, or whether it's for the next generation of uh, electric vehicles. Across the board, energy storage is critical, uh, and uh, this is now our laboratory system uh, uh, West Coast uh, uh, node, central node for, for doing that. So this is the kind of thing we have to just keep doing. Uh, it's, it's new facilities. It's also blocking and tackling of, of kind of the core uh, infrastructure around, around the system, and we will, we will keep, uh, keep, uh, keep working on that. The, um, the department was, uh, in this case, uh, was very pleased to put in more than $50 million to, to, to the, for this facility, but as Paul has emphasized uh, to me, if I look just across the patio here, we see another facility uh, with, uh, for, for solar energy, which is now privately and, and, uh, and, and state-funded, is my understanding, correct? Right. Right, and so this is again the kind of partnerships that we need. It's with the communities, but it's also with the states. It's with the uh, the, the congressional delegation uh, of the states, and 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 I want to recognize, uh, as Paul did, uh, that we have uh, members, uh, representatives of that delegation here, with uh, with which I certainly work with very very uh, closely. Finally, um, uh, another thread that comes together 
which I think is important, is the uh, the fact that I understand uh, you expect to be get lead uh, gold certified. You won't fail, Paul. No. no. Uh, uh, and. Uh, Excellent, because uh, one of the points of the Berkeley program is to make sure that uh, that um, nameplate performance uh, is matched by actual performance, uh, and uh, and that that's going to be important. But efficiency is important, and I'll just say again, Berkeley has uh, really been uh, again in our system a lead laboratory for a long time. Uh, we could invoke Art Rosenfeld, uh, for example, uh, in, in the energy efficiency space. And uh, so it all comes together, cutting edge science and technology that we need to accomplish core missions uh, for the country uh, here at the laboratory, also in our partners in universities uh, across the country through the user capacity, uh, and that points to this, uh, to the ALS, for example, as one example there. Uh, but also walking the talk in terms of our own infrastructure renewal, uh, having the highest standards and setting the standards for things like like energy efficiency. So uh, it's, it's, this is a it's a it's a great event, which uh, which an opportunity which brings together again so many of these these important themes. And I want to congratulate all of you, uh, and especially the hundred plus scientists who will start moving in in January uh, to do their work uh, with a facility suitable to the challenge ahead. Thank you. Disclaim everything you said. <laughs> um, good afternoon, every morning. I guess it's still morning. All right, good morning, everyone. So I'm Tom Bates, and I'm the, lucky enough to be the mayor of the city of Berkeley. I'm actually in my 12th year of, of mayor of Berkeley, and when I first got elected, there was a little project up on the hill that was called the Nanoscience Building. And um, I had the pleasure of, of, of actually shepherding that through the city council shoals. And then uh, I was just asking Paul how many other buildings have been built since that time. And I think he, we're somewhere between six and seven. We're not, I mean, we didn't you know, actually prepare to think about that, but there's a lot of stuff has happened. A lot of stuff has happened. And also, one of the things that's happened that's been really gratifying for me has been when I first became the mayor, the, the citizenry of Berkeley, quite frankly, the secretary uh, was not that wild about the, what was going on up on the hill, up in the laboratory. They didn't understand it. They didn't know what was going on. They didn't understand the economics of it. They didn't understand the, the, the prospects of it. So I was very pleased to work with uh, Secretary Chu and then now, now Paul Alvazado, these really great directors you had to, to be able to bring the community in and to be able to have a, advisory councils and be able to work with them so they really fully understand what's going on here. And more importantly to me, other than having that understanding and building that, that climate of, of respect and, and also understanding of the importance of the laboratory, has been the fact that the laboratory has actually gotten involved in community activities and actually gotten involved. They have been before, but much more. Uh, we, well, we were really interested in trying to do something about greening of our economy. And so we reached out to the lab to help us to form a, a, a nine-city coalition to work around trying to do stuff around greening the environment, trying to do things from electric chargers to getting more infrastructure, just in general. And it's been fabulous having this kind of thing. And the other part of it that Paul has been very, very important and the lab members have been very important is in the sky deck. This is a, a place where we can work to, to take ideas from the campus and from the laboratory and take them and, and test them and then take them to scale and then hopefully be able to see them you know, flourish in the, in the overall economy and world. So it's been working. We now have over 200 startups in Berkeley and we're getting more all the time. And a lot of them are coming from you guys and so we sincerely appreciate the knowledge and the expertise of this lab. So it's a great pleasure for me to be here to, to have an opportunity to see this building. If every, anything was really critical, now it's trying to figure out how we can store energy as we, we, we need to get away from fossil fuel, as, as we all know, or else we're all doomed. So the sooner we get away, the better. And this is a step in the right direction. So congratulations to the secretary, congratulations to the lab and to the lab director. Thank you. Have it here. Oh yes. Uh -oh. My security making that thing is serious. Should I do this? 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.